I'm Donna Hammond. I'm professor of anesthesia and pharmacology here at the University of Iowa, and I'm the director of PrEP at Iowa. We have an opportunity here for a pipeline program that addresses a really large need, and that is that individuals have a way to transition gracefully and confidently from having their bachelor's to entering a PhD program. This program is made up of over 40 faculty who share a similar commitment and serve as mentors and trainers and advisors. My name is Haley Vaughn and I went to undergrad at Upper Iowa University in Fayette, Iowa. I chose a prep program because I wanted to go to graduate school, but I didn't have the research experience. My name is Allison Moreno Samayoa, and I earned my bachelor's in biochemistry and molecular biology from Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa. My GPA fell in undergrad, and I was looking for other opportunities. My name is Blessing Enya, and I earned my undergraduate degree from Savannah State University in Savannah, Georgia. I chose to do a post back research education program because I felt like it would give me a chance to be more competitive with my graduate application. My name is Leslie Carrillo Sainz, and I went to Northeastern Illinois University in Chicago, and I'm the first in my family to pursue a college degree. I chose a post-baccalaureate program because I wanted to be better prepared for my long-term goals of applying to graduate programs in the biomedical sciences. My name is Victoria Stevens. I earned my undergraduate degree at Albany State University in Southwest Georgia. I chose the prep program because I didn't feel like I was prepared to go to grad school. I also didn't know what area of research I wanted to go into. The biggest surprise was how hard it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm a single mom, so I don't think if I would have been thrown into graduate school without the support from Donna, I wouldn't have been able to manage my time properly with being in lab and classes and homework. They're good about making sure you're on top of your deadlines and uh, revising your essays and making sure you're prepped for interviews, and so they really make sure they're behind you at every single step of the application process. It's so important that we be able to gain their trust, and mm -hmm. so the biggest hurdle is letting them know that they can come and say anything. We have experienced a lot in our own lives. We, we've both had challenges, and that there's very little that is going to call, cause us to freak out. In fact, what we want, we want to hear the truth so that we can help. So it was gaining the trust, and that's also been one of the most rewarding things about this program. The stipend is able to pay for my rent, my bills, and I'm still able to save extra money. For me, my son's after-school program, and um, I had to get a new car during the prep program. It covers all that, and plus you have some at the end. From what I was told about Iowa, there was nothing but cornfields and a lot of land and animals. But when I came to Iowa City, I noticed there were normal city things, and I was really, really surprised, really surprised. You're never bored here. There's a lot of things you can do here. There's a lot of activities going on. And there's a lot of diversity too, so you're not just restricted to like one thing over and over again. During my interview weekend, I got to explore the campus and I found a real sense of community and collaboration. Iowa's program was the only one that actually flew the applicants out and paid for our hotels and wine and dined us. Not really wine, but you know, they dined us. and. I felt like they w really cared about their program because they wanted to know the people who they were letting in, like not just on paper what do you look like, but who are you as a person, which made me feel like they really cared about the program and the people in it. So I was like, yeah, I have to, I have to go to Iowa. I have to go to Iowa. 